Have you ever wondered why volcanoes erupt, spewing fiery lava that can reshape landscapes? Picture this, a serene mountain, a burst of smoke and ash, and a river of molten rock flowing down its slopes. This is not the beginning of an action movie but a natural event that has been happening on our planet for billions of years, a volcanic eruption. Volcanoes with their explosive power and destructive capabilities have been a source of fascination and fear for humans since time immemorial. They are not just mountains that blow their tops, they are complex geological features that provide a window into the inner workings of our planet. But what causes these mountains to explode with such force? What turns solid rock into a flowing river of fire? The answer lies deep beneath the surface of the earth, in a place where temperatures are so high they can melt rock. It's a process as old as the earth itself, and it's what creates the molten rock, or lava, that volcanoes are famous for. In this video, we will delve into the world of volcanoes. We will explore their birth, their eruption process, the power of lava, and the daring lives of those who live on their edges. We will journey to the heart of the earth and back, exploring the incredible forces that shape our world. We'll discover how volcanoes are born and why they erupt. We'll learn about the different types of eruptions and the unique landscapes they create. We'll examine the power of lava, its temperature, its composition, and its ability to alter landscapes and ecosystems. And we'll meet the brave souls who choose to live in the shadow of these mighty mountains, understanding the risks and rewards of such a life. Volcanoes are not just destructive forces of nature, they are a testament to the dynamic nature of our planet, a reminder of the power beneath our feet. They are complex, they are destructive, but they are also fascinating. By the end of this video you will understand the science behind these powerful natural phenomena. To understand why a volcano erupts, we first need to understand how a volcano is born. And that's a fascinating story. It all starts with a simmering pot of molten rock, or magma, beneath the Earth's crust. But how does it get there? The answer lies in plate tectonics, the theory that our Earth's crust is broken into large pieces called plates. These plates, floating atop a layer of semi-liquid rock, are constantly moving, albeit at a snail's pace. When these plates collide, one often slides, or subducts, beneath the other. This subducted plate melts due to the intense heat and pressure, creating magma. But not all volcanoes form at these subduction zones. Some form over hotspots, areas in the Earth's mantle that are hotter than their surroundings. The intense heat melts the overlying crust, forming magma. The Hawaiian Islands, for example, were born from such a hotspot. Once magma forms, it begins to rise. Being less dense than the surrounding rock, it pushes its way upward, sometimes over thousands or even millions of years. When it finally breaches the surface, a volcano is born. But not all volcanoes are created equal. There are three primary types, shield, cinder cone, and composite or stratovolcanoes. Shield volcanoes, like those in Hawaii, are broad and low, built by layers of fluid lava. Cinder cone volcanoes on the other hand are smaller and steeper, resulting from explosive eruptions that spew out chunks of lava or cinders. Last but not least, we have the composite or stratovolcanoes, the classic cone-shaped volcanoes. These are built by both explosive eruptions which produce layers of cinders and less explosive eruptions which produce layers of lava. So there you have it, the birth of a volcano. It's a process that involves the very building blocks of our planet, from plate tectonics to magma formation, and the diverse types of volcanoes that dot our landscapes. Now that we know how a volcano comes into being, we can explore why it erupts. An erupting volcano is not just an explosion, it's a complex process driven by Earth's internal forces. Now let's dive into the heart of the matter, the eruption process. This is where the magic, or shall we say terror, happens. To understand an eruption we first need to get acquainted with magma chambers. Picture this. A vast reservoir deep beneath the Earth's crust filled with molten rock or magma. These chambers are not static. They are constantly changing, filling and emptying, pressurized by the weight of the overlying rocks and the energy from the Earth's core. Now let's bring pressure and temperature into the equation. The magma in these chambers is under immense pressure. It's like shaking a soda can and then opening it. The pressure release sends the soda flying out. Similarly, when the pressure in the magma chamber exceeds the strength of the overlying rocks, an eruption occurs. Temperature, too, plays a crucial role. The hotter the magma, the more fluid it is. And guess what? More fluid magma leads to a more peaceful eruption. But when the magma is cooler and more viscous, it can lead to a more explosive eruption. 
Speaking of eruptions, there are primarily two types we need to consider, effusive and explosive. In an effusive eruption, the magma oozes out of the volcano slowly and steadily, creating a flow of lava. It's like Mother Nature's own version of a slow cooker. On the other hand, an explosive eruption is just what it sounds like, a dramatic violent release of energy. The magma is blasted into the air, forming ash clouds and pyroclastic flows. It's a display of Earth's raw power, a reminder of the forces that exist beneath our feet. Understanding these processes is crucial, as the type of eruption not only determines the danger level, but also shapes the volcano and the surrounding landscape. So the next time you look at a volcano, remember the incredible processes happening beneath its surface. Lava, the molten rock that flows from a volcano, is much more than just a fiery spectacle. Imagine a river, but instead of water, it's a stream of red-hot liquid rock, flowing at temperatures that can reach up to 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. This is lava, a substance that's as fascinating as it is terrifying. Its composition varies, but it's primarily made of silicate minerals, with smaller amounts of iron, magnesium, aluminum, and other elements. The temperature and composition of lava have a profound influence on its behavior. For instance, lava that's high in silica tends to be thick and slow-moving, resulting in the formation of steep-sided explosive volcanoes, like those we see in the Pacific Ring of Fire. Conversely, lava that's low in silica is more fluid, leading to the creation of broad shield volcanoes like those in Hawaii. The flow rate of lava can also vary dramatically, from a slow, creeping pace to a rapid, destructive torrent. This is dependent on factors such as the slope of the land, the temperature of the lava, and the amount of gas it contains. Some lava flows can reach speeds of up to 40 miles per hour on steep slopes which can cause widespread devastation in their path. However, it's not just about destruction. Lava also plays a vital role in the creation of new land. As it cools and solidifies, it forms a new layer of Earth's crust, slowly building up over time to create islands, mountains, and plains. It's a process that's been going on for billions of years, shaping our planet in profound and dramatic ways. Moreover, the heat from lava can also be harnessed for energy. In places like Iceland, geothermal power plants use the heat from underground magma to generate electricity, providing a renewable source of energy that's both sustainable and clean. As we can see, lava is not just a destructive force but also a creator, shaping our world in dramatic ways. Despite the danger millions of people around the world live near active volcanoes, but why? That's a question that perplexes many of us. It seems counterintuitive, doesn't it? Living in the shadow of a fiery mountain that could awaken at any moment, it's a life on the edge, a dance with danger. However, volcanoes aren't just bringers of destruction, they're also creators of life. One of the key reasons why people choose to live near these geological giants is the fertile soil they offer. Over centuries, volcanic ash breaks down and mixes with the earth, creating a rich, mineral-laden soil that's perfect for agriculture. From the slopes of Mount Vesuvius in Italy that yield succulent tomatoes and robust wines to the coffee plantations nestled in the shadows of Guatemala's Fuego volcano, these fertile lands provide a bounty unthinkable elsewhere. Then there's the lure of valuable minerals. Volcanoes are nature's own smelters, churning out a wealth of minerals. Gold, silver, copper and even diamonds are often found in areas of volcanic activity. For communities living near these sites, mining these resources can provide a significant source of income despite the inherent risks. And let's not forget geothermal energy. This is heat derived from the Earth's molten interior, and volcanoes serve as natural conduits for this powerful and renewable source of energy. Countries like Iceland and New Zealand have harnessed the power of volcanoes to generate electricity, heat homes, and even warm public swimming pools. It's a sustainable way of life that marries the forces of nature with the needs of mankind. But living near a volcano is not without its risks. Volcanic eruptions can be devastating, wiping out entire communities in a blink. And yet, despite the danger, people continue to live, work, and thrive in these areas. They've learned to coexist with the volcanoes, respecting their power, learning their patterns, and taking precautions to mitigate the risks. Living near a volcano is a gamble, but for many, the benefits outweigh the risks. It's a testament to the human spirit, our resilience and our ability to adapt and thrive, even in the face of nature's most formidable forces. Volcanoes are more than just mountains that explode. They are a vital part of our planet's life cycle. As we conclude our journey through the fiery world of volcanoes, let's revisit some of the key aspects we've uncovered. We started by delving into the mystery of molten rock, the very heart of a volcano. 
Here we learned that beneath the Earth's crust, intense heat and pressure work together to create this fiery substance. It's this molten rock, or magma, that drives a volcano's explosive power. Then, we explored the birth of a volcano. It's a fascinating process that takes place over millions of years. The Earth's tectonic plates collide, separate, and slide past each other, creating cracks in the Earth's surface. It's through these cracks that magma pushes its way to the surface, forming a new volcano. We also took a closer look at the eruption process. Each eruption is unique, with varying levels of intensity and different types of volcanic material being expelled. From quiet effusive eruptions that slowly release lava, to explosive eruptions that violently eject ash and pyroclastic material, the range is vast and unpredictable. Our journey took us to the power of lava, a force that can both create and destroy. It's through the slow, relentless flow of lava that new landscapes are formed. Yet this same lava can also devour everything in its path, demonstrating the dual nature of this fiery substance. Finally we pondered on the reality of living on the edge, near these powerful and unpredictable forces of nature. For some, it's a risk worth taking for the fertile soils and unique ecosystems that volcanoes bring. So, there you have it, a glimpse into the world of volcanoes, where fire and rock dance in a volatile ballet. A world that is as fascinating as it is fearsome, a world that illustrates the formidable power of nature and its ability to shape our planet. Next time you see a volcanic eruption whether in person or on screen, you'll be able to appreciate not just its power, but also the complex science behind it.